A pleasure to meet y'all at last. And welcome back to the Vlogathon. 3.0, that is. At least that's what I've come to terms with calling this. And so what I've got here to talk about is that I'm simply just going to put up with another little reiteration of how important it is to know that YouTube is not over. Of course, the hashtag YouTube is over party had already gotten so many things going on, and it was trending for a little while, but nowadays, let's just think about the facts at hand. YouTube is actually not over. The platform itself has just been too successful and too popular that it will not be going downhill. And I feel like I could give away a lot of facts about this and a lot of pieces of evidence to help you conclude this, but of course I'm just simply going to talk about a few things in regards to the whole thing itself, of why YouTube is clearly not over, and that the YouTube is over party hashtag was just a load of fibs. So let me just get the whole thing straight now from the very beginning. YouTube itself started as a really, really small chain of videos that had been uploaded to the internet, and it was all thanks to a few PayPal workers out there who were able to create their own video sharing service out there. Simply call it YouTube. But in November of 2006, more than a year and a half after YouTube itself was originally brought onto the world, they managed to buy the platform for themselves. And they paid a lot of money to those PayPal workers for it. But of course, after all of that, YouTube itself has become bigger, 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 and bigger and bigger all over again. It just seems that by now, in 15 years that we had ourselves, it's clearly noted that the platform itself, while that old already, there's no sign of it stopping. The platform itself is clearly not at all over. And I feel like that there's just another point here to back this up as well. Aside from YouTube itself being just too big, too popular, too widely used amongst all communities worldwide for it to simply be over is the fact that people like myself, even though we're not necessarily getting ourselves paid due to monetization, it's probably fair to note that, of course, that part of YouTube itself could be over, but monetization is only for those people out there who work as hard as they possibly can. And the one thing that they do need aside from subscriber count reaching a certain limit to where they all of a sudden now get paid through to ad revenue, would be their viewership. That's the fuel to it all. And if people are not going to view anyone's videos out there because they all of a sudden have this psychological need to believe everything that they see on the internet, then well, know this. I have no psychological need to simply trust anything and everything that I find on the internet. There's always going to be something out there that's not reliable enough for me to simply think that it could be worth something to me. Information out there is always key. Evidence, links, and conclusions. It's as simple as putting together an essay in a linguistics course in your high school that you've been to. But let me just get the whole thing down from top to bottom. So... From the bottom point to where YouTube itself was originally founded in February 2005, up to the point where YouTube is now a 15-year-old platform video sharing service that has grown billions of views worth of people's viewership. The view count keeps getting higher and higher and higher as time goes by. And we don't necessarily need monetization. All we need is the notice that we are good creators out there. And of course, I've already made a solemn commitment that I'm never quitting YouTube. All of these points here should hopefully help to back this up. So anyone out there who is looking to just seeing me resign from the platform itself, resign from one of the oldest jobs I've ever had in my life, then well, think again. Or better yet, no that I'm just simply not quitting because of everything I've already said and because of the things I just said here in this part of the vlogathon. And so with that being said, I hope anyone out there has a clear understanding of what the picture is for me nowadays and that I am 
solely commitment to simply bringing up forth the viewership. The YouTube is Reborn movement simply confides to the inner glory that we're about to get now. People out there have quit the platform because of those things out there relating to the COPPA policies, but it appears that they're not true at all. The FTC is only having YouTube simply look through every single channel out there to ensure that they can get the right advertising that they need. For personalized ads out there, for people that don't have their channel as set to not made for kids, then well, of course you can expect personalized ads to pretty much be gone. Your ad revenue could be killed off if you make content that is clearly made for people who are under the age of six or something like that. And so, that's pretty much just it. And if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.